offended by the word duckbill. That's the uh, shorthand for this family of dinosaurs. But come around here, look at the front of the beak. Is this the beak of a duck? Well, no. There's a bit of the beak actually preserved on Leonardo. The beak is an internal rim of bone and over it, what we have in the mummy, is bits and pieces of the horny beak. This is stuff like fingernail, but much, much stronger. Tortoises have that and birds too. This is a lawn mower. This is a sharp edged beak for cropping tough plants. Not water plants, not something in the mud, but something growing with bark and hard wood. All of the duckbills were land feeders. All of the duckbills had this powerful mowing, cropping apparatus, and all duckbills could chew the heck out of their food. Come on, come on, look at the very front of this muzzle. You see what I mean? See how square this is? This is not a duck. Leonardo the mummy has a wonderful set of molars, beautifully preserved, every single one. There's about uh, 800 of them packed in here, packed very tightly. And when one tooth wears out, another one's coming in, never runs out of teeth. This is a cranial cuisinart. This chops and shreds and grinds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got a frill. We didn't make this up. I'm a scientist with a PhD from Harvard. I'm not allowed to make things up while anyone's watching. This is real. This is preserved in our mummy, Leonardo, and in other mummies. The top of the skin is pulled out into triangular or trapezoidal uh, notches and points that start over the shoulder and go all the way back over the hips, all the, way, all the way down to the tail. And it's not just duck bills. We have frills from Diplodocus. That's a long necked dinosaur, gigantic, up to 90 feet long. It too has things like this, on the top of the back and all through the tail. Why? To make it look good, to make it look bigger. This is part of the signaling apparatus. This is a message that other duck bills would read that says, I'm nearly adult. And I bet you that was color coded too. Leonardo would have these color coded so the message says, I'm nearly adult and I'm male. If you're a cute female, hey, check me out. If you're another male, I'm ready to fight. The Houston Museum Dinosaur Mummy Show is very tactile. You want to touch stuff. And you can. We'll have some fossilized dinosaur skin, but the fossil is so hard you can touch it. And then we'll have peels, replicas of Leonardo and other mummies that you'll be able to touch. The skin texture in duckbills is pretty fine. It's pebbly, a little like the lower leg of an ostrich or another big bird. It's pebbly and it gets finer and finer and finer up on the hips. But interesting, come around to the front of the leg. And the scales right here, front of the ankle, front of the shin get really big, and clearly thick. This is armor, not for fighting, but for moving through underbrush. Animals that are long-legged, big plant eaters, have to move a lot to find food and water and mates. And this is the part of your leg that will suffer some damage. Down, And here the magic begins. Leonardo is the very first dinosaur of any sort to have the chewed food preserved in the stomach. It's fabulous. We had theorized for 100 years that Duckbill dinosaurs with their wonderful motors would chop, 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 shred, shred, shred. I had no proof. How could you test that idea? Leonardo tests it. We've got x-rays all through the chest and the abdomen. They show the bones clearly and none are broken. None are injured. None have disease. This was a very, very healthy animal. Now, duckbills, like all big herbivores, have lots of volume in the intestines because you need to work on this stuff, plant stuff, plant fiber. It's tough to digest. You need protozoans, bacteria, and other microbes to live inside in vats to ferment the food. And you can see that process from stomach to intestines. But wait this more. In all duckbills, especially in brachies, the intestines doesn't stop here. This is where it should stop anatomically. It stops at the hip joint. That's where it stops in us, not in duckbill dinosaurs. The fermentation vats continue in between the legs. They're continuing, continuing, continuing. To, this is what we call the afterburner. Extra 
compartments for digestion all the way back here. And finally, at long last, the end of the trail for you, the food. Now you've been chopped and smashed and fermented and acid dipped and all the goodies have been extracted from you. And finally you're bundled up into a little package and pooped out. That's the end of your incredible voyage.